Hello, and welcome to the Bang & Olufsen Experience Center. Please feel free to have a look around, make yourself comfortable, and a Bang & Olufsen brand specialist will assist you shortly. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. I thought I was going to be by myself. <laughs> well, we wanted to start the experience off right, show you what we do. Uh, we are a full-on uh, audio-video technology company that uh, can really make your dreams come true. Uh, wow. But I, somebody was talking to me when I got in and I, I didn't see anybody. Yes, What's going on? We, we have an automated attendant uh, to help you through the, the showroom and if you like I can have it take you through the total show. I would love it. Okay, wonderful. Yes. If you'll just uh, focus on the door here. Yes. Welcome to Beo Hall, a state-of-the-art, fully integrated smart home, powered by a bang and rolls. During your visit, I'll take you through a day in the life inside a bang and rolls smart home. I'll show you how you can immerse yourself in beautiful sound experiences and how you can control your entire home with a few simple gestures or voice commands. So in the spirit of Danish hospitality, my home is your home. Please relax, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the Bill home experience. Wow. How about we start with a little music? It's a product that I think you recognize. The Biogram 7000, one of Bayon's classic You may have noticed that the music is playing on Biosound Shape, one of Bang & Olufsen's most unique and innovative products, and also one of my favorites. Biosound Shape is an on-wall modular speaker system. It was designed by Eivind Slato, one of Denmark's leading industrial designers. Eivind Slato's designs are inspired by patterns found in nature, and they have an organic elegance that blends in seamlessly with any interior. We'll learn a little bit more about Beosound's shape in a minute, but for now, why don't you go ahead and pick out an album for us to listen to? Allow me to demonstrate. Yes. Just move your selection to the top shelf, and I'll cue it up. Sinatra. Have it change our lights to the way I like it for Frank Sinatra. Yes. Away from wow. So this will only works with Frank Sinatra, I suppose. <laughs> no, let's see what else we can play. Okay, uh, show ahead. me. Change it from Frank Sinatra and let's, uh, let's try a little Miles Davis. Yes, my baby. I love yes. my Davis. And I like my kind of blue and blue. Simply by pressing that. There we are. Adjust the volume for my halo. Can you try another album? Of course. Van Halen. Amazing. Imagination is the only limitation. <laughs> of course you remember Beosound shape from the foyer. But you may have noticed that this Beosound shape looks a little different. That's because the product is comprised of hexagonal tiles which can be arranged in an infinite number of configurations. Bang & Olufsen's acoustic engineers have devised a special algorithm that remixes the music, placing the vocals in the center of the product and spreading the instruments across the reminder of the speakers. My soul is 
Please have a seat on the sofa. You are in for a special treat. The speakers you see here are called Build Up 50. They are high-end active loudspeakers that combine radical audio technology, graceful aesthetics and meticulous craftsmanship. Build Up 50 can be paired with any Bang & Olufsen television to enhance the cinematic experience. Or they can be played on their own as audiophile grade speakers. Here I've paired Bilba 50 with Bang & Olufsen's flagship television, Bilba Vision Harmony. the TV to your desired viewing position with the mere tap of a button or a simple voice command. This allows you to enjoy the viewing experience even when you're not sitting directly in front of the TV. What's the lyric? On the wall is Beovision Eclipse, another one of Bang & Olufsen's fully integrated television solutions. Allow me to swing the Eclipse away from the window. In many homes, seating areas are not on center, or windows create unwanted glare. The majestic movement of Beovision Eclipse solves all these issues. And when you're done, it moves back to the wall for perfect design aesthetics when you re-enter the room. Let's take a look at a scene and see and listen to its performance. Feel free to peek behind the TV as you'll be amazed with the finished look and the attention to every detail. While many homes have manual pull-out brackets, none of them give this appearance when away from the wall. Like Beovision Harmony, Beovision Eclipse houses a built-in surround sound processor and six speaker drivers. From day one, the brand has been driven by innovation and an unwavering commitment to making people's lives easier, simpler and more joyful. The speakers on either side of Beovision Harmony are Beulab 90, Bang & Olufsen's flagship loudspeaker. Produced for Bang & Olufsen's 19th anniversary, Beolab 90 are the result of 90 years of research and development in acoustics, and they are among the most powerful and technologically advanced loudspeakers on the market. The Beolab 90s, just like the Beolab 50s, give you the option to change the width of the beam. 
In narrow mode, you're setting the speakers up for uh, basically a single listening position, somebody with one chair and no friends. In cases where you want to enjoy music or movies with your family, then we recommend that you move over to the wide mode. But in both of those cases, we're always controlling the width of the beam. And we do that by sending some sound to some of the drivers, the woofers, the mid-ranges, and the tweeters, to cancel the sound in some direction. So it's a bit counterintuitive, but we're, we're sending energy into some of the speakers to reduce the amount of sound that comes out. And so if you're just listening for background music or if you're having a party, then this doesn't make any sense. It's better to have as much sound as you can from the loudspeaker in all positions. And for that, we use what we call omni mode, which is really a, a party mode. In that case, what we're doing is sending as much power as possible to all the drivers, because what you're really doing is using your loudspeakers to sculpt the sound of your environment rather than sitting and experiencing a recording actively. You've now experienced a bit of Bang & Olufsen's smart home magic. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Before we sit down and have a talk about your home, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the history of Bang & Olufsen. Please follow me into our museum room. Bang & Olufsen was founded in 1925 in Struer, Denmark, by Peter Bang and Sven Olufsen, two young engineers who were dedicated to high-quality audio reproduction. For nearly a century, Bang & Olufsen has sat at the forefront of technological innovation. And today, the Bang & Olufsen products are all characterized by a unique combination of beautiful sound, timeless design, and unrivaled craftsmanship. Oliver, I'm really impressed. Thank you. <laughs> Your showroom is amazing. Thank you. But Tell me what it means to you. What, what is different from what you used to do with retail shops? Sure. What is bringing to your business, um, to the experience of your customers? Sure. Yeah, uh, I've been doing this for almost 30 years and uh, I've always uh, been conflicted uh, with our traditional retail model. Um, we don't really get across what we can do as a company. Uh, and that really means that uh, not necessarily what product does that customer want, it's that I'm building a home and I need someone to help me with that. And, and what we really want to show here is that we can help you with all aspects of a home and really create that, that, uh, that technological marvel that people dream about and, and show that as well. Uh, in addition, as a business model, it, it's very nice to be able to ensure a base level representation of the brand. Uh, I can't tell you how many showrooms I've been in throughout the world, and, and frankly, I rarely, if ever, have gone into a showroom uh, anonymously and gotten a presentation that I really understood the brand at the end of it. It's typically just turn up the volume of whatever's playing, and that's the end of it. So it, it's a way that every salesperson, no matter how experienced they are, can ensure that every customer gets a base level of a wow experience. Uh, they come out of that presentation knowing more about the brand, feeling excited about the brand, and already thinking about how it might fit into their lives and their home. Uh, and then, of course, the next step is we just start talking about uh, what they want. What it means in the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about Bang & Olufsen, and yes. this is like you enter into a home that can do everything for you. Yes. So how do you compare with what the industry is doing in terms of custom installa sure. installation and... Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. Uh, and it's also a big differentiator I see in the market uh, is typically there are lots of products on the market uh, and control systems on the market. Uh, and then there are integrators. Uh, and those integrators are frankly as big as they are. I mean, they could be very large companies. No one has ever heard of them. Uh, so it, it's ironic, always ironic to me that people invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into a technical, mar technological marvel of a home, uh, but the company that put it in, no one's ever heard of. Uh, and really there's no accountability there either. So what I think we're doing here is we're really putting a name to the face. Uh, Bang & Olufsen is the branded solution. I am building a Bang & Olufsen smart home, a Beal home. Uh, if you will. And, and I think that's really what's different here, is it's not Joe's AV, uh, it's Bang & Olufsen developing a complete home solution. I haven't seen any cables, I haven't seen any rack of equipment. <laughs> um, actually, is there something that is different from other installations that you don't need anything like that and you're just making magic? Yeah. Or, or how, how does it work? Yeah, it's a good question. I take it for granted sometimes, but in aid of so many of our products is much of the technology that other companies and other products need to add on. 
uh, from a high-end speaker that doesn't use amplifier because the amplifier is built into the speakers to a television which has a surround sound processor and speakers built into it uh, to a control system that is built into it as well to work throughout the home. And uh, I like to use the term laterally integrated. So Bang & Olsen as a whole is looking at how solutions work in parallel with each other. Uh, it isn't this product that isn't made to work together and how do I make this product work together? I'm going to buy a third piece that's going to make it all work together. It's Bang & Olsen as a whole thinks of how things work together. It's how we buy our homes, how we buy our cars. Uh, things need to be designed to work together uh, you know, before it gets into your home. But um, do you need to be at the first stages of construction in order to have a complete experience like this? I, I, honestly, everything you saw here in some iteration, we could do completely retrofit. Uh, every television, every speaker, the lighting control, the motorized shades, we could technically do everything about that with zero wires. Uh, it could be completely retrofit. And you can start at the beginning, what difference does it make? Uh, certainly as a design uh, element, we can you know, make things more integrated, um, you know, how things are going to fit, how things are going to look. Uh, we want to be part of that design process, so another thing we want to show is that we want to work with your architects, with your designers, uh, and with the client themselves to ensure that they're going to get the vision that they want from the beginning. And of course our products do that, uh, whereas most products it's how do we hide it, uh, our products are how do, we, uh, how do we show it off. Can you answer no, or you will always say <laughs> you can do it? Pretty much we can always do it. Yes. Uh, we will certainly advise the client on, on a direction that makes the most sense for them. Um, but, uh, but yes, there's always... Do they come with crazy ideas sometimes? They come out with great ideas that I never even thought any? of. <laughs> well, I mean, this one being one was just something that uh, someone came up with. with what if I could just play an album by putting it on a, on a podium without having to put it on the, on the record player? And uh, so what, what, we made it, that what, what does it mean to them? It means because like maybe they remember something from the old times or is yeah because it, it all became digital and then you don't see where things are exactly that's so, sort of uh that, that that sort of connection that people have to the cover art uh to the experience of listening to albums but bringing it into the modern world uh i think it's something we also do very well you know we, we tie together those emotional elements that come with um, music and watching movies and uh, we translate that into a way that meets uh, today's uh, technological needs. Uh, I, I love uh, looking at cover art, I love reading the liner notes, uh, but uh, sometimes playing an album is, is not uh, exactly the experience that you want. Uh, I want to play the music quickly. Uh, they, they say, how do you do that? You know, like, how did that happen? And I just say it's magic. I don't even get into it. You know? do, do they actually want this? They, they do want it, it, you know, but, but again, then I have to quickly state that, you know, this is really just showing that there are, the, the possibilities are endless. Uh, so it, it's fun that we're with a company and a product that has a, a greater vision than just one thing. You know, we, we can really make anything happen. So Oliver, tell me about what you think about the Halo and its future potential. I, I absolutely love the Halo. Uh, to me, it is a game-changing product. Uh, as I see it, we all are familiar with our smart devices, uh, what we want the home to do, whether it's lights, shades, temperature, uh, all of these things. Uh, typically in the industry, that to, to control all those things, uh, you have a, a keypad, uh, you know, maybe a thermostat, and, uh, and a, some sort of iPad or, or screen uh, located in a room. Um, it's not very elegant. Uh, it's not certainly very future-like. Uh, future uh, the halo encompasses, could potentially encompass all those things. Controlling my lights, my shades, my temperature, my music, and most importantly though, it's an elegant piece as I enter the room, because uh, that's what I want. I, if I have a high-end home with a uh, high-end kitchen and, and all the, uh, the finishes, uh, I don't want a piece of plastic on the wall uh, to control my lights. I want something elegant like this, which I can do all those things with. So uh, with that, I could see every room in the house having that. Even if they didn't have any AV in the room, I still would want this in every room. Uh, and of course, when I get AV, why wouldn't I add a Bang & Olsen speaker that natively works with it? Uh, it just makes perfect sense. So you, so you really, you don't need all this, because it doesn't even look nice yeah, to have I mean, so many they're, devices. They're really just things that you need, you know? And, and here we at least made them a little more elegant with stainless steel and, and all that, but a typical home is plastic dimmers or switches, yes. or even plastic keypads and a big ugly thermostat. Uh, and again, I, when I want to have more control over my music and such, 
I have to have a touchscreen of some sort uh, in the room. So as, as an interface, is unique in the industry. Absolutely, nothing else like it, yeah. Nothing else and, like it. And for the music aspect, I don't have to say, oh my gosh, I have emails, I have texts, I have a lot of other stresses. Yes. It, it's purely uh, an elegant piece that I can interact with uh, that, you know, uh, is what it's about. Music's about enjoyment, and so should the interaction with it. Tell me a little bit about the violin intelligence and what it means to you in your showroom or in your customers, uh, what has uh, provided you? It's amazing. I mean, it, it is a piece that gives me the confidence that we can address the customer's concerns. Um, you know, regardless of whether it actually becomes a product that we end up using, uh, you know, it allows the company as a whole to uh, confidently say we can make everything work together. And when customers do want to have those type of things, um, they feel very good about that experience because it has a Bang & Olsen face on it uh, and their lights, their shades, and their television can work with it. So it's, it's fantastic. How, how do you like the app? The app is amazing. Yeah, I'm I, I, big fan of it. Uh, certainly, even from the home page of the app where I can drill right into... Can you show me? Yeah, sure. So, in my home page, you know, it, it's visually uh, very enriching uh, but if I want to control something specific I don't need to drill down uh, a lot of buttons like I find in the industry so I can simply say you know in the kitchen I want to adjust my lights so with one button I can get to that functionality I don't have to go into the zone into lights then go into uh, some place where I can adjust each light um, what I love also is um, you know, there's uh, Ketra lights, which is something we are big fans of. Uh, we can even control the color, uh, and we can program the lights in any way we want uh, with all the settings. And how about, how about programming the video living intelligence? I would consider myself terrible at these things, yet I am able to do it. So if, oh, that, if that says enough, uh, I can work my way through a multi-step macro uh, within minutes. Um, the other day, uh, I was putting the, the halo onto my system and creating some new macros with that. At your home? At my home. And uh, I couldn't have a computer because my son was on a computer, my wife was on a computer. So I did it all from my iPhone. So I, I imported it, I created the macro, created scenes. And you're, you're not a programmer? I'm not a programmer by any means, yes. In fact, it would be the last thing I want to do in the world uh, <laughs> as, a, as a job. But uh, it's fun that because it's so easy, it's not about the programming, it's just about that I can implement any vision that I have. And what happens if you need a new feature for the Violin Intelligence? Are you getting good feedback? Abs or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the fact is that those features usually are on the system before I even know that they're important to have. Uh, mm -hmm. as opposed to I wish it had that. Uh, so it's always been a very positive experience with that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Wow, all this excitement has really tired me out. <laughs>